to know before you go. There are lots of questions this morning after a Port Authority bus driver was found dead at the terminal. But it's not only his death that's raising eyebrows, it's how long he was left there inside his idling bus. Deborah Alfaron is live outside the Port Authority terminal on 42nd Street with the latest for us. Good morning, Deborah. Good morning and five hours, five hours, that's how long the driver was in his bus before anyone found him. They did go to look for him just a little bit before that five hour mark, but it certainly took a long time. And now people are wondering why it did. Take a look here. You can see certainly there's some buses coming by. I don't know if you can see that up there at the Port Authority bus terminal, but that's the location where this bus driver, Thomas Truix, had parked. Now people are wondering why it took so long to find him. Cops say it was around 10.30 on Thursday morning when Truex of Edison, New Jersey, dropped off his last passengers. He was also supposed to drop off the bus back in New Jersey. Fast forward five hours and NJ Transit officials started to get worried, started making calls. At the same time, the Port Authority called NJ Transit to say they spotted a bus that wasn't where it was supposed to be. So a supervisor went and found Truex. They found him there slumped over the wheel dead. Now the question now, why did it take five hours for the, both the Port Authority and NJ Transit to notice that something was wrong? Begs the question, don't they keep tabs on these buses? And NJ Transit spokesperson said that they're going to look into it. A Port Authority spokesperson says this shows some cracks in the communication between the two agencies. And again, you can see some of these buses back live on the scene. This is exactly the place where Truex was, uh, had parked his bus at a place where people are known to take, these drivers are known to take breaks and known for like bathroom breaks and getting coffee and stuff like that. But then again, it, it did take five hours for them to find him. And they're saying right now his death was not ruled suspicious, but they're still not sure exactly what the cause was. We're live by the Port Authority this morning. Deborah Alperone, Pix 11 News.